I started my apprenticeship with Leeds College of Building. A director from Bagnalls came in to see us and I chose to apply for Bagnalls because it seemed like a very good company to work for. I started my apprenticeship when I was 19 and I'm now 20. I've just uh, finished my first year. I joined Bagnalls from leaving school um, at 16 years of age. I wanted to do something hands-on in construction. So I've worked for Bagnalls now for 13 years, so obviously I enjoy it. I enjoy getting up every day, coming to work. Each day brings a different challenge. There's many benefits to painting and decorating. Uh, obviously, as an apprentice, you get paid to learn, which is brilliant. Um, plenty of different sites to go on, plenty of variety in this job. Well, I enjoy going to college as part of my apprenticeship because I feel you get a lot more one-to-one -one learning on, than you do on site. And um, when, when I've been to college, the skills I've learned, I like to bring them back onto site and show the lads, you know, what I've been learning. You've also got to incorporate the health and safety, what you've learned at college and over the years, and bring that onto site with you, because um, safety is paramount. And me, myself, as a foreman, I enforce that, wearing of the correct PPE. There's many reasons why I enjoy working for Bagnalls. One, you know, there's a variety of different jobs that I can do. Um, all the people I've met who work at Bagnalls so far, right through from the lads on site and the senior management, they're all really friendly and approachable. And, um, you know, I enjoy getting up on a morning for work. I really enjoy working at Bagnalls because every day is different. To be a good painter and decorator you need to have good communication skills, that's the main one, so you know what the customer wants, um, how to treat the customer. You've got to be, work clean and tidy. There are some downsides to in this industry being a painter and decorator. Obviously the early starts, working in winter, um, the possibility of working away, but you know, we've just got to get on with it. We'll have a qualification at the end of it, which is the main thing. From getting my MVQ level three, I've also had further training, which I'm a fully qualified first aider, to, to mention one. Also, PASMA training, which I can erect and dismantle uh, aluminium tower. The Training Academy in Doncaster is a really good facility for apprentices like me. Uh, it gives you a chance to do a bit more extra work on, you know, papering and dirt painting walls and stuff like that. And also being trained by a, a Bagnalls um, employee who's been in this company for many, many years and it gives us a chance to learn his skills as well. Bagnalls is a really good company to make progression in. Obviously I'm an apprentice decorator, I can always move on to be a foreman or even go further to be a contract manager. Starting as an apprentice, I've now been here 13 years. I've worked my way up to being a foreman which I'm really enjoying at the minute, I'm happy with that. But I always know there's a chance of progression, whether it be a contracts manager to even one day being the director. I'm actually working quite closely with my brother at the moment who started as an apprentice at Bagnalls and he's now a site foreman and uh, you know that's a goal I'd like to achieve. I would definitely re recommend an apprentice apprenticeship with Bagnalls. Um, I've enjoyed every, every minute of my apprenticeship. I'm still here now. They're a great company to work for. I'd always recommend an apprenticeship scheme, especially with Bagnalls. Uh, they've got a good balance between college work and site experience. Um, obviously progression is a, a main part of Bagnalls. I would definitely recommend an apprenticeship to someone, to anyone who wants to you know, get in the construction trade with Bagnalls because, um, like I've said before, they're a well-known company. They offer a lot of training on, on site and at college. And personally, I feel that Bagnalls have put a lot of time and effort into their apprentices, which I think is really good. A lot of our work is working at height. We work off scaffolds, aluminium towers, ladders, mupes, so only our trained competent staff are able to use the access provided if they've got the right training, which Bagnalls offer. Personally, I didn't start my apprenticeship while 19 years old. Uh, I'd, I'd recommend you start it from maybe just out of school, 16 years, obviously because you'd be on a craftsman's rate pretty early, but it's always better to start younger. I think the best way to attract more people to apply for an apprentice at Bagnalls is through social media. I personally follow Bagnalls on Facebook and it gives me, gives me a good insight on what Bagnalls are doing around the country and uh, maybe it could advertise or entice other kids to uh, look up Bagnalls for an apprenticeship. Another good thing about Bagnalls obviously is good workmanship and good team spirit. Uh, I don't know if Elliot thinks the same but whether you're in a first year apprentice or a third year apprentice you always get treated fairly and respect. Uh, I yeah, I totally agree with what Luke's saying. Um, a lot of lads who want to be, get an apprenticeship, they think that being an apprentice consists of you know, getting all the rubbish jobs and stuff, but here at Bagnalls, you feel like you get a lot of responsibility, you know, even as a first year. 